Hi, my welcomes to my Tirunagaram Manohar YouTube channel. Uh, now we want to discuss about uh, calculus. In this video class, we want to discuss uh, uh, some part of uh, calculus. Why? Because this calculus is a very huge uh, chapter, very huge chapter, and also this is very 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 most important for all competitive level examinations from uh, class uh, 12th to from class 12th for NEET CET CET NEET exam Next, IIT ZOM, IIT ZOM. For all these competitive level examinations, uh, and, uh, as well as NET, next, uh, SET exam, also, this calculus part, is very, calculus part is very, very important. So, as well as, for class 12th, class 12th students, also, this is uh, started in the class 12th also this is started so that's why this is a very very most important for all those competitive level examination this is a huge uh, chapter now we want to discuss about in this uh, uh, chapter calculus before going to uh, discussion i my dear viewers if you not uh, subscribe my youtube channel you must uh, you must subscribe my youtube channel uh, like it and share to your friends thank you now we want to discuss about continuity and differentiability in this continuity and differentiability first of all introduction to introduction to differential calculus so this is a introduction part. So here, calculus is the mathematics of motion and change. Mathematics of motion and change, where there is where there is a motion or growth or decoy, calculus is the right mathematics to apply. So where you want to apply this calculus means where the motion or growth or decoy is there on that place you want to apply this calculus part okay so that's why this uh, that's why this chapter is most important so this was true in the beginning even when the subject was invented and it is true even today also so this is about a brief uh, introduction. Next, uh, calculus was born out the born out of the need to solve problems like uh, defining a tangent line to a curve. Next, finding velocity and acceleration of moving bodies. So, what, why? in which area of this calculus was uh, born means defining a tangent line to a curve next finding velocity finding velocity and acceleration of uh, moving bodies next uh, third one finding a function from its uh, rate of change finding function from its rate of change Finding areas of irregular regions in a plane. So, in this area, we want to see calculus. So, up to now, introduction part, we see this in of differential calculus. So, especially the introduction of calculus by introduce means how it bones uh, that one I want to share to your notation. So now, now Newton, Newton and Leibniz independently invented this calculus. So Newton and
Leibniz, these both are independently uh, invented, uh, in, in, invented the calculus and established the relationship between differential calculus and uh, inter, uh, integral calculus at the same time in different places. Okay. According to Leibniz, define a slope of tangent to a curve as a derivative. So, Leibniz defined the uh, calculus uh, uh, according to him, Leibniz, slope of the tangent to a curve as a derivative. So, he defined, Leibniz defined the derivative as slope of a tangent to a curve. But, uh, whereas, Newton solved the problems of finding instantaneous velocity through derivative instantaneous, instantaneous velocity through the derivative. So, learning calculus is a process and it is not come all at once. Why? Because this is very 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 huge chapter. So, that's why this is not come at one day, two day, three day or one hour, two hour. This is a continuous process. Okay. So, now, what is meant by continuity? So, the term continuity that means the concept of continuity before going to next one. Now, if anybody not subscribe my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe my channel and like it, share it to your friends. The cons now continuity. Continuity means the continuity of concept of continuity is one of the central notation of the calculus. So it is this is the most important concept of uh, continuity. This is a central notation of uh, calculus. So, which is a central notation of calculus means Continuity. Continuity is the central notation of calculus. Like this also they will, they may be asked the question, which is the central notation of the calculus means continuity. Continuity is the central notation of the calculus. Now, uh, definition. A function, not general definition I am telling, a function f of x is continuous at a point x is equal to a, if f of x defined at x is equal to a, and if its graph does not have break at that point, by graphically, by geometrically, I am telling this definition. See here, if, when you say that the function f of x is continuous at a point x is equal to a, means if the f of x function defined at x is equal to a, is a which is a graph does not have break at that point okay by graphically see some types of functions in the graph so see the following figures through the graph at uh, x is equal to a first one see this one here this is a x axis and this is a x dash this is y y dash this is origin. Next one of the curve is there. This is the curve. One curve. So, this curve cutting at x is equal to a. Intersecting. So, that's why this is not a stopped. This is continuous. This is not, not breaking. See here, it, this is not breaked. So, that's why this is continuous at this point, at this point A. Next one, see here, this is the x-axis, x dash, y and y dash. This is also not breaking, not breaking. So, at this point, so that's why this is also continuous at x is equal to A. Now, we will see the next one more function. See here, here this is a x axis, this is x axis,
this is x axis uh, x dash y y dash origin o see at x is equal to a this graph is this one like this here and again here stop again from here onwards started so that's why this is breaking at this point little bit break is there so that's why this is not a continuous function at this point this is not a continuous function at this point that means not a continuous means it is a discontinuous function this is discontinuous at that point means at x is equal to a next coming to the this one this is also a this is also a breaking at this point not intersecting here see here at this point so that's why the x x dash y y dash this is called origin o so this is not intersecting or continuing continuing in this point so this is here break is there some break so that's why this is not a continuous function that means this is a discontinuous at x is equal to a so that means this means that continuous means by graphically continuous means which graphs continuous that means without breaking how does not have a break at that points the graph the graph which is does not have break at that point is called a continuous continuous at that at that point see here from uh, figure 1 and 2 are the continuous functions and this uh, figure 2 and uh, figure 3 and 4 figure 3 and 4 are discontinuous functions through the geometrically geometrically at all next uh, this uh, definition of continuous e, several definition are there so there are several equivalent definitions of continuity in in the world so now one mathematical definition this is a previous one this is about uh, geometrical definition geometrically geometrical how you say that it is a continuous or dis discontinuous means if uh, the graph which does not have a break then we say that uh, that not have a break at a some point at a, at a at some interval some point then you say that this is a continuous otherwise discontinuous now by mathematically how you say that continuity mathematical definition this one let a real function let a real function f of x be, uh, be defined for every x, be x in an open interval containing the number a then f is said to be continuous at a so when you, there, when you say that this function f of x f of x is said to be f of x is said to, to be continuous in open interval i at a point a means some conditions we should follow so what are the conditions means must and should f of x f of a exist ok again second one limit as x tends to a f of x also exists so when these two exist means third one limit as x tends to f of x is equal to f of a that means this first and second one must and must and equal so then you say that where if you satisfy all these three conditions then you say that the given function f of x is said to be a continuous f of x said to be a continuous at, at that given point x is equal to a so when you say that the function f of x is continuous means if the function f of x is satisfied 
ऑल थ्री कंडीशन ऑल थ्री कंडीशन मीन एफ ऑफ ए एक्सिस्ट फर्स्ट कंडीशन मस्ट एंड शुड होल्ड एफ ऑफ ए दैट मीन्स बाय रिप्लेसिंग एक्स एज दिस कंडीशन एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए देन दैट मस्ट एंड शुड एक्सिस्ट नेक्स्ट सेकेंड वन लिमिटिंग वैल्यू लिमिट एज एक्सटेंस टू ए एफ ऑफ एक्स ऑल्सो मस्ट एंड शुड एक्सिस्ट then third condition third condition limit as x tends to a f of x is equal to f of a then we say that the function given function f of x is continuous continuous at x is equal to a okay this is a mathematical definition when you say that the given function f of x is continuous at that uh, at a point up to a point means if f of a is exist and uh, as well as f of uh, limit as extends to a f of x exist as well as third one limit extends to a f of x is equal to f of a then you say that f of x is continuous at x is equal to Yeah. Okay. Even if one of these three conditions fails to hold, then the function f is said to be a not continuous at x is equal to a. That means that out of these three conditions, if any conditions not hold or not satisfied, then the then the function is said to be not continuous so that's why these three condition must and should satisfies then only then only said this uh, uh, function is uh, continuous otherwise can't okay so some examples are here some examples are here see here the function f of x is sin x by x is not a continuous at x is equal to 0 see here why it is not a continuous at x is equal to 0 by the definition by the definition when you say that first condition is what f of a exist we want to check this condition either exist or not Okay, f of a. A means how much here? A zero. So that's why f of zero means sine zero by zero. Sine zero, you all know that zero. Zero by zero does not exist. Zero by zero means does not exist. So first condition is not satisfied. So that's why. automatically you say that if one condition not satisfy then you say that the function f of x is not uh, continuous so even though the limiting function limit as x tends to 0 f of x is exist see here limit as x tends to 0 f of x means limit as x tends to 0 f of x means sin 0 by 0 sin 0 by 0 again 0 by 0 upon the again does not exist so sorry sorry here limit as x tends to 0 sin x y x sin x y x value sin x y x value limit x tends to 0 sin x y x value there is a one property one okay so this is exist even though this uh, limiting function limit as x tends to 0 f of x is exist but not uh, satisfy the first condition uh, as uh, f of x does not exist so that's why f of x is, does not exist okay understand if you clear it uh, if you clear this one i will move on to the next example this is the most important for all competitive level exams already they asked for 
some competitive level exams ncrt uh, in ncrt also they ask cet exam also they ask in neat exam and iit iit also they ask so iit exam examination also they ask the function f of x the function f of x is equal to 2 x square minus 1 is continuous at x is equal to 3 we want to check why it is continuous at x is equal to 3 we want to check so when you say that the function is continuous means uh, by satisfying all three conditions means first one f of a exists f of a exists that means here a is equal to how much 3 so that's why f of 3 means function is what f of x is equal to 2x square minus 1 if x is equal to 3 means 2 into 3 square minus 1 so 3 square 9 9 to the 18 minus 1 70 that means it is exist first condition is satisfied existed now what about second condition second condition limit as x tends to 3 f of x that means limit as x tends to 3 f of x means 2 x square minus 1 so by uh, limiting value so this one 2 into 3 square minus 1 is equal to 17 also exists so second condition also exists first condition also exists so that's why third condition is what third condition f of limiting as x tends to 3 f of x is equal to uh, f of a that is equal to 17 so that's why this function is continuous so like this way we want to check so see here f of 3 is equal to 17 exist and limiting x limit as x tends to 3 f of x is equal to limit as x tends to 3 f of x means 2x square minus 1 which is equal to this one 17 also so first condition second condition satisfied so automatically third condition limiting limit limit as x tends to 3 f of x is equal to f of a that means f of 3 that is equal to 17 therefore the function f of x is said to be continuous at this point like this way we want to check by the mathematical definition one more definition is there one more definition see here the function f of x is equal to tan 3x by 3 so when you say that tan 3x by 3 means if x is not equal to 0 means the function is tan 3x by 3 if x is equal to 0 means this function is said to be 1 this function is said to be 1 so then this is not continuous at x is equal to 0 whether we want to check whether it is continuous or discontinuous at that point see here how we check it means f of 0 f f of 0 means f of x f of 0 means how much if x is equal to 0 means 1 so f of 0 is equal to 1 and limiting as x tends to what Zero limiting x tends to zero of f of x as limiting as x tends to zero then function how you take how you take as this is also limiting value f of x means how you how you define this one by left hand limit and right hand limit must and should satisfy so that's why here function If not equal to zero means how you how you check this one means by left hand limit is equal to right hand limit then you say that limit as x tends to zero f of x value exists so for that purpose limit as x tends to zero minus f of x zero minus left hand limit left hand limit. that is equal to limit as 
extends to 0 minus means function which is not equal to 0. That is uh, tan 3x by 3. Tan 3x by 3. So that means when you limit is approaches to 0 means 0 by 3 0. Similarly, right hand limit RHL which is equal to limit as extends to 0 plus means f of x. So 0 plus means not equals to 0. Again in this case also the function is how much? So not equals to 0 means function again tan 3x by 3. Tan 3x by 3. So that's why this value is 0. So here 0 by 0. Therefore this value limit as extends to 0 f of x value of 0. So here f of 0 value 1 but here limit extends to 0 f of x is 1. So that's why f of 0 is not equal to limit as extends to 0 f of x. That means third condition not satisfied. So that means first condition also existed, second condition also existed but third condition is not satisfied. So that's why the given function f of x is equal to tan 3x by 3 which is not equal to 0 and 1 which is x is equal to 0 is not continuous. Third condition is not satisfied for this problem. Again come to the next one. Next one is what? The function, the greatest function, this is the greatest function is discontinuous at every integral integral value of x. So, greatest integer function by graphically we see here like this, greatest integer function, this is origin O, this is x and x dash, this is y and uh, this is a uh, y dash. So, greatest integer function like this. This is the greatest integer function or uh, step function. This is called step function and this is not a continuous function. Why? Because by seeming also we say that this is not a continuous function. Why? Because there is a break is there in this graph. So that's why this is not a continuous function. This is not a continuous function. This uh, greatest integer function is not a continu continuous one. Discontinuous at every integ integral value of x. Every integral value of x. Here, here. Integral value means here. Here. Okay. At every integral value of x greatest function is not continuous means discontinuous. Next, uh, see here mathematical also, mathematical way also I did here. See here mathematical way, first step, f of a we want to check. So f of a, a means here how much I am taking for example a value 2. So f of 2 I want to check. So greatest x is equal to 2 means greatest, greatest integer function 2 value 2. Okay, now we want to check this one. Limit as x tends to uh, 2 f of x value, how much do we want to check? So that means by uh, le left hand limit and right hand limit we want to check whether they are equal or not, we want to check, uh, check it. So left hand limit is limit as x tends to 2 minus f of x uh, is equal to 1. How means? Limit as x tends to 2 minus means greatest integer function. 2 minus means uh, 1.99999 something. So that's why 1.999 means greatest integer value 1. Okay. So next that is the left hand limit value. And right hand limit value uh, limit as x tends to 2 plus f of x means 2 plus means 2.0001 and worse 2 plus means 2.001 and so on etc. So that's why this greatest integer of this RHS value much 2 at least. So that's why this is 1, 
this is a two. So that's why first condition is existed. Uh, no, first condition also existed. Second condition also. Second condition. What? This one does not existed. So why? Because left hand limit and right hand limit not equal. So that's why this uh, limiting as extends to two f of x is not defined. Not exist. Why? Because this value is one and this value is two. See here. So that's why this second condition is not satisfied. Second condition not satisfied means. third condition also not satisfied so that's why this greatest integer function is said to be discontinuous or not continuous at that point now coming to the fifth proof fifth one fifth example fifth example see here the function f of x is equal to uh, pi minus x as x is less than or equals to 0 and pi plus x as x greater than 0 is continuous at x is equal to 0 how it is continuous at x is equal to 0 means see first first condition what f of a we want to check here a means 0 f of 0 we want f of 0 at x is equal to 0 at x is equal to 0 means function value what pi minus x so pi minus 0 is equal to 5 so f of 0 value how much why in the first condition first condition satisfied second condition is what second condition limit as extends to a f of x whether it is exist or not we want to check so for this purpose we want to check left hand limit and right hand limit we want to check it left hand limit and right hand limit so for that purpose right hand limit limiting as extends to 0 plus f of x is equal to 0 plus means greater than 0 so in this function what do you want to take greater than 0 we want to check greater than 0 means pi plus x so function value how much pi plus x while applying limiting value as extends to 0 means pi plus 0 is equal to pi Next to left hand limit, limit extends to zero minus f of x is equal to limit extends to zero minus zero minus means less than case. So we want to check this function pi minus x. So by approaching limit value as zero, so that's why pi minus zero is equal to pi. See here, by left hand limit and right hand limit are both are equal. So that's why left hand limit to L H L U R H L are equal. So that's why this one. Limiting uh, limit uh, extends to zero f of x is exist and equals to f of zero. So that's why that function is continuous continuous at x is equal to zero. At x is equal to zero. This function is continuous at x is equal to zero. So these all the five a uh, beautiful examples of this. continuity so see here my dear students if you like this video you must subscribe and share to your friends and subscribe subscribe to subscribe my channel as tirunagaram manohar my channel name is tirunagaram manohar please subscribe my youtube channel tirunagaram manohar thank you thank you one and all thank you very much